I made this clock over three years ago and I thought it might be interesting to just go and revisit it and have a look at the technology behind this clock. Out of the 30 clocks that I've built, this is the most reliable. Because it's battery driven, there's no winding and no maintenance. Just have a look at that little cog on the right hand side there. Oh, it just moved up. Magically, this is what keeps the clock running. The weight of the motor behind that small wheel is what drives the whole mechanism. And as that wheel moves down, eventually it comes up again. Let's have a look at some of the other bits, like the pallets. Beautiful smooth mechanism that advances the escape wheel. It's very therapeutic just to listen to that slow methodical tick. Unlike all the other clocks I've built, this requires a small bearing at the front and at the back of this shaft because the whole of the mechanism of the clock is only held by the frame that sits at the back. There's no front frame at all. The main gearing mechanism turns the minute hand once every hour. But the hour hand is turned by this unique daisy type arrangement. You can see the hour hand is sort of free floating but it moves on a cam and as the minute hand moves there's a cam inside the hour hand that moves it along that daisy so that the hour advances. Very ingenious. Okay, let's have a look at the driving force of this clock. You can see that small wheel is attached to a shaft and that shaft is attached to an electric motor which sits behind this panel. And behind this little cover is where the magic happens because the wires are connected to a 9 volt battery which is interrupted by a tiny little mercury switch. You can see the, the glass and little, a little bulb of mercury. Now when I woggle the arm you can see the mercury moving. As that arm comes down the mercury makes contact and advances the motor and so the wheel climbs up the big wheel. So it's the weight of the motor, in fact, that drives this mechanism. The downward force of the stopped motor turns that big wheel. This seems like complete magic to me. And Clayton Boyer, who designed this clock, is an absolute genius. You can see again, that the clock only has a back frame. Everything just hangs off the front of it. This clock runs on such a small amount of weight provided by the motor because, because it has a balanced pendulum. There's weight on the top and the bottom of this pendulum as it pivots around its axis. You can see the uh, conventional pendulum on one of my other clocks. It just pivots from the top and all the weight is on the bottom. While the gearing and the length of the pendulum define mostly the speed of the clock, there's fine adjustment here. by moving this weight up and down to finally adjust the pendulum to get the clock to run accurately. And it's easily stopped and started just by moving the pendulum again. And there we have what looks like perpetual motion.
the noise from the little electric motor really is hardly discernible. Just listen in. The dial with the hour daisy is just free floating. Let's have a closer look at this amazing drive mechanism. This clock is called Swing Time and is designed by Clayton Boyer. You'll find all his clock plans in a link in the description of this video. So you can build this clock for yourself. This has been a magnificent addition to my collection and is one of my favourites.